This week, we're learning that Tesla has added two more new features to the already growing list of 2022 Model Y improvements. We'll also show you an unusual trademark Tesla just filed. Plus, you won't believe what Google search data just revealed about the EV everyone wants to know more about. So let's start there. And please drop us a like as it really helps this channel and it's our biggest thanks that we can get. All right, guys. This year, there's going to be a record of almost 30 new EVs arriving to the marketplace, from just two models available in 2010 to more than two dozen new ones hitting the roads in the next few months. In total, you'll have about 100 EV models to choose from in 2022. So you already know about the Rivian R1T and R1S, the Lucid Air, plus the Ford F-150 Lightning. But in March, the BMW i4 and iX start US deliveries. In May, look for the Subaru Solterra with 220 miles of range. And in October, the 350 mile range Mercedes EQS will be on the roads. But here's what's crazy. According to Google search trends just released, these are not the EVs people are searching for online. The EVs that Google data shows that most people in the world want to know about doesn't even come out in 2022. They're coming out in 2023 and 24. According to the data, which looked at 168 different countries around the world, it revealed that the Tesla Roadster was the single most searched EV in the world in 2021. In fact, Google turned up over 8.5 million search results for the upcoming Roadster, which comes out to about 700,000 searches per month. But in the US, it wasn't the Roadster, but the Cybertruck that had the most searches according to Google data. Globally, the Cybertruck was close second for the most searched about EV in 2021, with 7.2 million searches made. The rest of the list showed the long rumored Apple car also made the list, and the BMW i4 was the only one in the top five slated to come out this year. What's interesting to point out is that Americans are not necessarily buying EVs. They're buying Teslas. There were over 600,000 EVs sold in the US last year, and even though there were over 50 other EV options to choose from, Tesla accounted for about two out of every three EV sales. So naturally, that number will come down as another 30 new EVs are introduced to buyers in 2022. But if Google Trends have anything to tell us, the world's EV interest remains largely in Teslas, more than most other companies that are making EVs right now. Next story is about a crazy trademark Tesla just filed for. Of course, if you guys have been watching me long enough, you probably know that I am obsessed with some of the wild patents Tesla has filed for in the past. And I've made some videos showing you Tesla's patent for a laser windshield wiper and an age detection safety sensor for its airbags. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it below. But this find is not a patent, but a trademark that Tesla just applied for, and it seems to be for Tesla branded audio devices. The trademark registration reads it's intended to cover categories of microphones, headphones, digital audio players, speakers, horns, loudspeakers, and megaphones. Now, Sometimes companies apply for trademarks they end up not using, but this could be anything from speakers and headphones you can buy on Tesla's website to maybe Tesla trying to bring production in-house for its own speakers inside their cars. So talk to any Tesla owner and they will tell you how good the speakers sound and Elon has actually tweeted before that its audio engineers come from companies like Bong and Olufsen. Up next, the 2022 Model Y just keeps improving. But before we go any farther, I wanna give a big thanks to Masterworks for sponsoring this video. If you're a viewer of this channel, you probably know we're longtime investors, especially in tech and EVs. But there's one asset class that has been called the greatest store of wealth today, and that's where today's sponsor, Masterworks, comes in. It's not too surprising to learn that the world's richest people, and I'm talking about the billionaires here, about two thirds of them allocate between 10 to 30% of their overall portfolio to art. They do this because contemporary art prices have outpaced the S&P 500 total return by 174% from 1995 to 2020. And what's cool about Masterworks is that they've emerged as the only platform that lets you access billionaire art collectors' exclusive investments. So basically, you can now invest in the same art that they do with names like Banksy, Monet, and Basque, all for just a fraction of what you'd pay to purchase it. So getting started with Masterworks takes just a few seconds to create an account, browse their artwork, and you can diversify your portfolio with one of the most stable assets around. 
If you want to take advantage and invest in fine art, there is a wait list, but you can skip that and immediately start investing by clicking the link in the description below, and it really also supports this channel. So check out masterworks.art slash Kim Java. All right, let's jump back into it. In the past few weeks, we have learned the 2022 Model Y and Model 3 will have a lithium ion based 12 volt battery, the powerful Ryzen chips for the MCU. Plus, in the first week of this year, we reported vented seats possibly coming to Model Y and Model 3 as well. Now, thanks to some good detective work by Norwegian Tesla owner, the paperwork for Giga Berlin's built Model Ys, currently being tested in Norway, are showing additional changes to the car. The 2022 Model Ys are showing a maximum payload capacity increase, which is the maximum amount of weight the car can safely carry. The weight is now up to 562 kilograms or about 1200 pounds. That's about a 400 pound increase in the current generation Model Y's payload capacity. Along with increased capacity, it also shows the Model Y has new Sanyu brake disc and it confirms the addition of the AMD Ryzen processor and a new power steering ECU. So clearly Tesla is continuing to aggressively advance Model Y with more desirable features or innovations and we know Elon has said he expects this car to be the world's best selling car possibly by this year. Up next, this might be my favorite story of the week and it's about Airstream. They just unveiled their concept eStream trailer and just about every EV owner is drooling over it right now. So in a statement, they said that eStream is the future of electrified travel adventure, which may be a hint that a production version is in the works. It's built on an exclusive towable platform that integrates the high voltage pure electric drivetrain featuring dual independent motors, producing a total of 242 horsepower power and 132 pound feet of torque. The motors are powered by up to two lithium ion battery packs with a combined capacity of 80 kilowatt hours. Thor, the parent company for Airstream, says that Airstream addresses the top concern of EV users, which is range limitations. They say the technology creates a synchronized relationship between the trailer and the tow vehicle, enabling the trailer to move in harmony with the tow vehicle, reducing the pull effect required from the tow vehicle. This in turn dramatically improves the possible range of the combination. They say the electric drivetrain also has the ability to charge much faster than low voltage options. Airstream says the RV can be remotely parked in move mode without the tow vehicle, which eliminates the stress of hitching up and backing into a campsite. Nothing yet about potential production date or cost, but I can't imagine it will be cheap. Lastly, this week, it looks like Elon is willing to step in once again with restoring internet in the volcano hit island nation of Tonga using Starlink internet terminals. Of course, after the recent volcanic eruption and tsunami left Tonga without communication links to the rest of the world. So this comes after a member of the parliament in New Zealand sent Elon a letter telling him that the volcano eruption broke the underwater telecommunication link with Tonga and has left just about everyone on the island without internet access and communication communication to the rest of the world. And this could actually last a few months. So Elon replied, could people from Tonga let us know if it is important for SpaceX to send over Starlink terminals? Elon then responded, this is a hard thing for us to do right now as we don't have satellites with laser links and there are already geosats that serve the Tonga region. That's why I'm asking for clear confirmation. So it sounds like Elon is saying it's possible, but it's not easy. So we'll see if Starlink can help reconnect communication with the islands. You'll probably remember this is not the first time Elon has been asked to help during a natural disaster. In 2017, Tesla donated solar panels and batteries to Puerto Rico in its aftermath of Hurricane Maria. And in 2018, he was asked to help with the Thai soccer team that was trapped in a cave. All right guys, so that's all we got for this week's top five weekly segment. And if you enjoyed this video or learned something new, please always drop a like as it helps this channel out a lot. And be sure that you are subscribed as we have entertaining and insightful videos like this dropping every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will catch you next time.